भाई ये दिखाना जरूरी है स्क्रीन को सो आवर नेक्स्ट सेशन इज फाइंडिंग योर वॉइस थ्रू आर एंड आवर स्पीकर इज अनु मेहरा डायरेक्टर ऑफ बिलिंगटन एंड फोर्टियर साइकिल फ्रीलांसर कंटेंट राइटर सो ग्रेट फ्रॉम इंडिया प्लीज कम मैम Hi and a very good evening. Uh, gonna be introducing myself a bit. So I am actually known by two names. One is Anudeep, and uh, I am a shareholder in Frontier Cycle Industries. That's the like a family-owned business. And then I decided to get into the service sector and worked for a FMB industry as a PRO. So by working as a PRO, then I just uh, you know happened to. Uh, Accumulate good capital for myself, and then I decided to get into my own business, my own company, and started with uh, Bling It On, that is uh, dealing in women accessories. And along with that, I started with my own Insta page, where I just uh, you know gave myself a little bit of creativity boost and uh, decided to do a little bit content writing. So that opened lot of avenues for me. I got in touch with uh, various global thought leaders. and uh, i started doing proofreading for them and then i am currently working on my untitled book on poetry and uh, will be sharing few lines of my poem as well later so coming to the topic it is uh, finding your voice through art so how do we really define art art is something that we cannot only touch or feel but it is something that also that we hear and feel and visualize it in our mind okay that it's going to be something like that art is a combination of three m's that is your mind your message and the medium the kind of thing you want to portray to others your mind thinks about it and the kind of message you want to deliver deliver ahead and you think about the right medium to go ahead with that that's an art art how do we really perceive art art is really actually perceived by general people that uh, someone who is uh, you know someone a painting on the wall a painting on a canvas or a sculpture made out of wood or a glass uh, that is how actually art is perceived dance is a form of art singing poetry they are all forms of art when a child is born and uh, they are trying to communicate their emotions and feelings to you that's an art a person blind sculpting is that's an art a person born deaf singing that's an art so art is actually a universal language which has crossed all the barriers that individual have created for themselves and uh, art does not go biased to anyone it's equally to be, it, it 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 just comes out equally to everybody how one treats it may differ how one perceives it may differ but art remains the same the artists around the globe they th they believe in one thing that is we all are believers that we all are achievers each and every individual excels in some form of art we all are dwelling in art how to keep our company progressive how to keep our relationships warm the way we keep our spaces the way uh, we treat people working under us or at the senior position it's an art sitting in the audience and listening patiently is an art so is standing on the stage and delivering a message we all do try to reveal ourselves in some form of art for example dressing up well just imagine a person walking inside this ballroom and the person catches our fancy so it's just that the what kind of statement that person wants to put the what kind of mark he wants to put the what kind of impression he wants to put on our mind that's an art be just looking at the person tend to perceive whether he is bored or whether he is subtly depending on the kind of attire they are wearing second is the way a person convinces other art of convincing people if they talk gentle then they are spiritual if they talk robust then they are perfect for a political career people who talk good 
are like good orators. And these are the kind of people who are good influencers. These are the people who limit your capacity to think about on a certain subject and you will take every word as they say. Like for example, our uh, political leaders, they are all good influencers. Like all the gurus, the spiritual gurus, they are good influencers. It is an art to think well about others. We all live in a very paradoxical society where we don't realize that what is good for us and beneficial for us in long run. And we all take a, you know, a shortcut to success and glory. In the pretext of this, we have left our love relationships behind. Oh, he did like this to me, next time I'll show it to him whom he's dealing with. That is the kind of attitude we have actually adapted. Is this the right attitude? I don't think so. We are not practicing the art to forego others, to forgive others. We need to forgive others, not because they deserve our forgiveness. We need to forgive, forgive others because we need to be in that peace of mind so that our nature can be on a progressive side. Spirituality is an art. Let me exemplify this by sharing a short story by Gaur Gopal Das. There was a king who was really fascinated by the paintings. He sent an ordeal in his kingdom to all the artists that the best painting on the piece will be rewarded. So all the artists in the kingdom happened to send best of their piece on art, depicting peace. The king selected two paintings. One was a very serene painting having a very nice and calm lake adjacent to the lush green mountains. The lake was so calm and serene that it had a reflection like mirror, uh, a mirror like reflection to the mountains. Anybody looking at that picture would feel peace at the immediate moment. The second painting again had mountains, but a rugged and flaky ones. All stony. The sky was thunderous and scary. Amidst all that, there was a branch coming out of the stone and there was a small nest which had a small baby being fed by the mother bird. Which painting do you think the king would have chosen? The second one. And as he explains, peace does not mean to be that there will be no hard work or hands or tribulations in your life. Peace means when you're in the middle, when you're in the middle of all those hymns and tribulations and you still maintain your calm, that's what peace is and that's what we need to practice. That's a form of art we all need to practice in today's life.